The 716 in 2 Minutes, brought to you by Custom Carpet Centers. I'm Jeff Russo from 7 Eyewitness News, and this is the 716 in 2 Minutes. Governor Andrew Cuomo has signed a set of sweeping reforms to law enforcement into law. Those changes include a repeal of Statute 50A. That let police departments hide officers' disciplinary records. Officers are also now banned from using chokeholds on suspects. More than 200 people have signed a petition on change.org asking Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown to take down a statue of Christopher Columbus on Niagara Street. Well, that statue is vandalized just about every Columbus Day. Supporters of this push point to his treatment of indigenous people after he landed in the New World. We are getting closer now to more of our favorite entertainment options reopening. The Seneca Nation plans to reopen the Seneca Niagara Casino in Niagara Falls on Thursday. You're going to have to follow some new ground rules right away. That includes getting your temperature checked and wearing a face mask in order to play. Time now to check in on the forecast. Here's 7 First Alert meteorologist Michelle McLeod. Well, a crisp overnight is going to make way for a cool day tomorrow. But let's get through the overnight. Your lows will be in the uh, mid to upper 40s under partly cloudy to mainly clear skies and light winds. Then we go into Saturday with a mix of sun and clouds. The start of the weekend is going to be a bit cool. Those temperatures in the low 60s. For the second half of the weekend, it warms up just a tad with your temperatures in the upper 60s, both days under a mix of sun and clouds. Then we rebound nicely into Monday with your temperatures seasonable and if you don't like cool or seasonable air don't worry as we head throughout the seven day not only are we in the absence of rain but we're also going to see those temperatures increase back into the 80s enjoy the 716 in two minutes brought to you by custom carpet centers